the world of nature has its own characteristics. Every lion has an individual face, and every bald eagle has an individual face. Maybe every cricket, every aphid has an individual face. They must have, because each one is an individual and has its own soul, so to speak. Robert Bateman, arguably the most popular wildlife painter in modern times. It's his wish that his keen appreciation for nature and wildlife is shared by the millions who enjoy his art. If my painting, if the body of my work does help raise consciousness and awareness and help people to take action to protect nature, that's a good thing. Welcome. Tom. Today, Bateman is meeting art gallery owner Thomas Beckett, who's hosting Bateman's first solo exhibit in Toronto in over two decades. Well, I'm feeling great. Come in, we're just hanging the show, so okay. uh, the Thomas Beckett owns the Beckett Fine Art Gallery and is the son of the man Bateman credits for launching his career as a wildlife artist. My father uh, got to know Robert Bateman back in the late 60s and they started a working relationship in 1971 at Beckett Gallery in Hamilton and he was his main uh, agent dealer for his original paintings from the, from the very beginning. So for me to be having this show, I've been in business here for seven years and I've been uh, working towards having a Robert Bateman show since my opening and now the time has come. One of my newest pieces that really made an impact on me, I was very strongly empathizing with the subject in this case, is the painting of the Canadian beaver. And here's the beaver, the Canadian symbol, but it's a very anxious and probably slightly angry beaver because it's standing in the middle of a paved highway with a yellow line going down it. And it's surrounding ourselves with pavement, as Joni Mitchell said, pave paradise and put up a parking lot. And that's why I did the painting, to, to draw people's attention to it. And uh, I'm sure no one will buy the painting. Probably won't make it into a print, but I'm sure anyone who sees it won't forget it because it's, uh, it's saying something about what we're doing with nature. One of the very important things Robert has done through his art is let the people see the world the way it can be and celebrate nature. And, and Robert, uh, when you do see his work in real life um, up close, then uh, it helps you see places you've never been as well. Many people wouldn't realize that uh, Antarctica is one of the most fantastic places left in the world for viewing wildlife. And uh, my wife and I have had, uh, I think it's four trips down there now. And you can um, sit right down in a penguin colony and these little penguins, they, they toddle along and they're, they're all little Charlie Chaplins all dressed up in their tuxedos, but they'll come brush right past your leg uh, as they troop up and down and head out in, into the sea. Beyond being a keen observer of wildlife, Bateman tries to empathize with the creatures he paints, much like how a method actor tackles a role. When I'm painting, I very often do kind of get under the skin of the animal and try to, uh, to feel, to feel what, it, what it feels. Um, not so much in, um, in an emotional way as in a character way. You know, for example, bald eagles, the bald eagle's the American symbol, the beaver's the Canadian symbol. <laughs> Beavers are basically a boring brown blob. I guess that's us Canadians, say. Hey? But the beaver is kind of, you know, it's very admirable and noble and industrious, and it doesn't rob other birds as the bald eagle does, and scavenge and that sort of thing. A great builder. I, I better not go too far with <laughs> these analogies. So ultimately, what drew Bateman to the world of art and nature? It's really mysterious why somebody would get turned on to nature and others don't get turned on to nature. It, it could be that I was just born that way. Nature is incredibly varied. When you um, look at one of my um, art shows or you flip through one of my books, you don't know if you're gonna come across a moose or a mouse or a little tree frog and a bunch of grass. It is the greatest thing about the planet Earth. It isn't the people. It isn't anything else, it's the variety. Variety is not only the spice of life, it is life. 
It just gives you a sense of peace, a sense of belonging, a sense of fitting in with the, all the great forces of the planet. It's good for the soul, you know, the, whatever that means. All artists paint what they love. Um, they got did backstage at the ballet. I do wildlife. Well, I think that I'm the luckiest guy I know to be able to do what I did as a 12-year-old uh, kid, nature and art, and get away with it for a whole lifetime. I'm 72 years old now, and I guess some people have retired by this time, but artists don't retire. Composers don't retire. Musicians, I've never heard of them. Yeah, artistic people retiring. So um, I just, I'll just always paint as long as I'm able to hold a paintbrush.